Hello. Hey, good Hi. afternoon, Hi. of course. Hello. Happy Hello. Mother's Hello. Day. Hi. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. Now, uh, Jerry has touched this question already, but I would like to be specific. Na lang. So, first, I would like to ask um, Mary Chris and Luan, since you, you're, you're uh, first time moms, what has been the hardest part? of being first-time moms, and at the same time, uh, what have been the, the best part of it? Siguro, let's start muna with Luan. Hardest and best. Yes. <laughs> Hardest kasi um, kahit anong pamamaraan man na you had your child, mahirap mm-hmm. yun eh. Diba? Kahit pa sabihin nilang uh, they call they call a, a C-section painless uh, way of giving birth. No, it's not. No. <laughs> no. 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 Mahirap talaga. Mahirap mabuntis. Mahirap manganak. Um, hardest kasi pandemic. Mm-hmm. So talagang um, giving birth alone. Diba with uh, total strangers beside you. Wala kang ma- mahingahan. Wala kang... Hindi ka makapagreklamo, di ba? Mawal magreklamo. Tapos, nung time pa yon, um gaya ng sinabi ko kanina, um, I gave birth uh, during the height of the pandemic. So, talagang wala tayong alam. Wala tayong idea kung ano siya. Kung ano yung kinakaharap natin. So, madalian. Imagine, um, um, because of all of the complications along the way, na emergency C-section ako. 24 hours lang na discharge na ako sa ospital. 12 hours pinipilit kanilang magwiwi. 12 hours kailangan mong um, tumayo, maglakad. Kailangan um, dumumi ka na para alam nila na nag-function na yung internal organs mo. Tapos 24 hours, umuwi na kami. Okay lahat, walang problema. Si baby, walang problema. 24 hours, hindi ako makaakyat ng hagdanan. <laughs> Pero pipilitin mo kasi kailangan. Yun yung pinakamahirap na part. Kasi dahil, sa, dahil lang sa pandemic. Pero yung, uh, yung pinakamasarap naman na, na, na parte na yun, yung nasa bahay ka na at nayayakap mo na yung baby mo, um, inaalagaan ka ng buong pamilya mo, yun naman yung pinakamasarap. Parang I felt safe and uh, at home. Yun. Hanggang ngayon, ganun pa rin. <laughs> ganun nice pa rin. Ko. I think everybody can relate. Oh. Sorry. Oh, oh. But anyway, thank you, Lua. Now let's go to, to Marie Chris. Uh, oh. uh, ako, sa akin, sa akin yung hardest part siguro, mm-hmm. yung, yung, hindi ko, kasi bilang first time mom, so sino yung unang-una mong hahanapin yung nanay mo, de ba? So wala hindi ko siya hindi ko siya kasi senior. So hindi siya makalabas, de ba? Diba? Hindi pwede, hindi niya ako madalaw sa ospital, kahit dito sa bahay, hindi niya ako madalaw kasi sabi ko, mas mabuti na lang na diyan ka na lang sa bahay kaysa i-risk mo pa na lumabas, mag-video call na lang tayo every day ganyan. So 'yun yung pinakamahirap. Tsaka siguro next na lang doon yung breastfeeding. Medyo nahirapan ako sa first <laughs> sa first month lang naman, medyo umiiyak ako sa hirap. But 'yun, sa tu- kasi talagang pinilit ko eh, sabi ko hindi ako papayag nang hindi ko siya ma-breastfeed. So sa tulong ng napakaraming supplements at napakaraming dasal, okay na yung milk ko ngayon. Tapos yung pinakamasarap siguro yung andiyan na siya, yung nakita mo na siya kasi yung mm-hmm. the whole time nga ng pandemic na nasa loob siya ng chan mo. Syempre hindi kagaya ng dati na yung check-up mo sa ospital, di ba? Madalas. Nung pandemic, as much as possible, bihirang-bihira ka lang po. Kasi lalo na sa ospital, doon hindi ka nakakatakot, di ba? So, you, uh, minimize mo yung pagpunta ng ospital. So, hindi yun yung nag-worry ka kung kamusta ba siya sa loob, ganyan-ganyan. Mm-hmm. Ta, pero ngayon na, ayan, na nandyan na siya, okay, nakahinga ka na. Panibagong worry na lang ulit yung everyday na naman anong mangyayari sa kanya, baka ganito, baka ganyan. Pero, yun, sobrang fulfilling naman and sobrang worth it lahat ng hirap na yun. Thank you, Marie Chris. Now, mm-hmm. for my uh, next set of questions, I'd like to ask LJ and Sheena. Um, of course, we, we all know na having or raising kids these days, especially we are uh, in the middle of a pandemic, it's, it's really a struggle, no? 
And uh, we all know that children have uh, short attention span or something like that. So I, I wanted to know, how do you keep your children busy and ensure that they still, you know, having fun despite being confined in your homes? Siguro, let's start muna with uh, LJ. Okay. Um, so actually, as much as I want my kids to be busy and entertained, I also want them to learn na pwedeng mabor. <laughs> Kasi hindi okay. all the time pwedeng meron kang ipagawa sa kanila. Mm-hmm. I mean, um, I know kasi syempre this is a generation that super high technology na talaga and they're, ang bilis na ng lahat ng bagay. So, most especially with Aki na um, sanay siya na ang dami niyang ginagawa from school. Ganyan, syempre medyo shorten na yung school time nila ngayon kasi syempre iniisip din ng schools yung um, paggamit nila ng computer. Um, ayaw nila na masyadong matagal. But uh, I always teach him nowadays na parang as much as I want you to be productive na meron ding downtime na kailangan masanay ka rin na hindi all the time kailangan na ginagawa ka at busy ka. Um, there would be times na ay wala akong magawa. So, anong pwede mo gawin? So, ngayon, uh, pinapabasa ko siya ng books. Alam mo yun, yung pagsinsabihin sa akin wala na akong mabasang libro. Okay lang yan. Be creative. Anong pwede mo gawin? Be creative. Alam mo yun, sa totoo lang, if you don't, if you always feed them with something to do, they will not be able to learn how to be creative on their own. Mm. Yes. Um, yun ang medyo mahirap. Tapos, kay, kay Summer din, ganun, sobrang uh, limited screen time kasi ayoko na masyado silang babad sa screen. So, most of the time si Summer naman, I let her lead sa playtime namin. So, nakakatawa nga kasi hindi ko alam kung director ba siya, artista ba siya, or writer <laughs> siya eh. Kasi meron siyang ugali na um, nagpipretend siya. Kasi wala na siyang magawa. So, bigyan na lang siya magpipretend na tumatawag yung tatay niya, nag-video call daw sila, tapos may sakit yung manika niya. Tapos, iniwan niya dun sa sala sa taas yung, yung, yung phone niya. So, babalik siya, wait, papa, wait. Tom, 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 it's okay, it's okay, don't cry, don't cry. Wait, papa, holy. Oh, tapos, ah, kita naman siya. Tapos, nakaganyan lang ako sa kanya. Mga naman siya, mong balik siya. Okay na, anak, okay na. May script siya, eh. nakakatawa sobra. Pero, you know, yung mga gantong time na, hindi mo, na hinahayaan mo sila, hindi mo sila sinifeed ng kung ano ang dapat nilang gawin. That's the time that they become creative. So, but syempre at the same time, um, you give them yung mga gusto nilang gawin para naman na-enjoy pa rin nila yung, um, yung time nila. Uh-huh. Uh, hindi naman. Para rin, kasi syempre you have to comfort them also. It's a very difficult time. So, uh-huh. mahirap balantin yun bilang nanay. Pero, sabi nga ni Pao sa akin, ang dami mong iniisip. <laughs> Pero totoo yan kasi bilang nanay, parang lahat iniisip mo. Hindi lang yung today, pero pati yung tomorrow, yung far Minsan, future. Minsan pinapangunahan ako. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oo. So, yun lang. Na, yun lang. Ang dami ko sinabi. <laughs> pero I like that concept. Ha? Kasi it also applies sa ating mga adults, di ba? It's okay yes. to, you know, to feel bored at times. But anyway, thank you, LJ. <laughs> Now let's go to Sheena. Um, well, for me initially, because when the lockdown happened, Stellar was around. Um, yeah, she just turned four. Mm. She just turned four, you know. Actually, three. Just mag four siya. So what I did initially was just to set up her room, and um, I told her na without naman like really forcing her, I just introduced her to the concept of me time. So I told her, you know, this is your room. Everything is here. Your toys are here. Materials, um, lahat na paper, lahat. I mean, I put it there na. And then if you just feel like you want to do something, go ahead, you can enter your room. So doon nagsimula. Kasi um, I was very lucky for some reason. She's not diffi- she doesn't have a difficulty with um, paying attention. Uh, kasi siguro dahil nga nasanay siya na, okay, I'm gonna go to my room. I have my desk here. This is where I work. This is where I study. So, nung nag-start kami ng online classes with her, 
she didn't I didn't have a problem with her like listening to her teacher attentively mm. for one and a half hours. So yun, um that is siguro one of the tips that I can give sa mga bagong magulang ngayon, especially online tayo lahat talaga eh. Kumbaga, it doesn't need naman to be a room. It just needs to be a small space. Na, mm-hmm. so sabihin niya sa anak niya, this is your space. Your and, safe space. Oo, uh, this is your space and you can do whatever you want there. So, si Stella yan, dyan, dyan siya natuto magpintura, magmix media. Mm-hmm. Mag-mix media siya. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Grabe siya at five. <laughs> Grabe siya. O, oh, minsan talaga tinitingnan ko, ino-observe ko. Ang hirap nun sa akin kasi, alam mo, natural talaga sa akin na nahilig ako mangialam. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, tawa, tawa. <laughs> yeah, alam mo yun, na- natural sa akin yun eh, na bilang tao na hindi tama yan. Yung mga gano'n. <laughs> Pero, hinahayaan ko na lang, tapos nagugulat ako sa mga, mga creation niya na nagagawa. Itong maliit na boy naman, ah, araw-araw na ginawa ng Diyos talaga. Kailangan kong magtiis dahil siya ay paakyat-akyat. Paakyat sa table. Ah. <laughs> iba talaga kapag boy eh. No? Iba talaga. Ay, yung iba. Ang uh, apakalikot. <laughs> Oo. Tsaka talagang dito ko na feel na punching bag talaga ako. <laughs> Talagang wala siyang pakialam. Talagang sinasapak. Sapak niya ako pa. One warrior siya. So, oh my God. Gusto ko ipakasin Ilang inyo. taon na? Two. 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 Oh, malapit ka na, Lu. Sobrang <laughs> nakita ka na, Lu. Kung pwede ko lang dalhin pa naman ang anak mo. Namin, ng daddy niya para lang dal na awa sa akin si Kian dahil ako daw yung pinapunching bag. Bumili siya ng inflatable na pang boxing. Para lang... <laughs> Yan yung, yan yung sinusuntok. Oo, yan yung ina-attacking ni Salem every day. So, magkaibang magkaiba sila talaga ng ugali. Magkaibang tao eh. Pero, ayun, yun naman yung maganda dun sa process siguro. Ng pag, yun nga, just let them be. Let them discover mm. who they are. And yeah. then, yeah, just be there to guide them. And then, <laughs> I don't know, just, kung meron man silang question sa amin ni Kian, doon lang kami talaga yung, oh, ganito kasi yan. Yeah. Pag na-frustrate, ganyan, saka kami magka-guide. Pero importante kasi talaga na sa amin, bilang pareho kaming creatives. Parang sabi ko, <coughs> diba, ayaw mong pinapakailaman ka, gusto mo, may sarili kang panahon, saka importante din naman sa atin na tahimik. So, baka ganyan din yung mga yan. So, pinapagkayaan lang din namin sila pagdating sa productivity nila. So, ganun. Thank you, Shana. And uh, for my final question, this is for uh, this question is for everybody. Well, since it's Mother's Day, when whenever we talk about female figures, we always think of our moms. Uh-huh. But other than your mothers, who else do you consider as your mother figure? And uh, well, in your life, and what are the best lessons that you've learned from them? Siguro na start muna ako with, uh, with Luan. Ako marami sa uh, teachers ko mm-hmm. in uh, grade school. Kasi doon palang sobrang dami ko talagang natutunan. Lahat ng mga pinagdaanan ko sa buhay, alam mo yung um, hindi naman sa binig- binigyan ko sila ng authority na mm-hmm. alam mo yon na panghimasukan yung buhay mo or ganun. At hindi rin naman lahat ng sinasabi nila eh pinapakinggan mo, pero ang dami lang nilang naituro talaga sa akin. Na parang hanggang ngayon, eh kapag, uh, kunwari may, 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 may something or may, may situation, parang okay. iniisip mo eh, but w- what would she do? Alam mo yun, parang, or ano kayang sasabi niya sa akin if I ask her about this situation? Pero, teacher ko in grade school. Thank you. <laughs> so let's move to my please. Ah, ako, madami din eh, pero siguro yung pinakamalapit sa akin ngayon, yung mother-in-law ko. Kasi mm-hmm. sobrang ibang-iba sila ng mami ko. As in, magkaibang magkaiba yung, yung ways nilang dalawa. So, alam mo yung parang, na, ba? yung napaghahalo ko yung ways ng mami ko at saka yung ways niya para... Para yun yung maituro ko din sa anak namin, di ba? Ganon. Tapos, yun nga, kasi 
Mi, ako, yung mommy ko, pinalaki kami ng sobrang strict, ganyan. Mm. Like, siya naman, sobrang cool. So, yeah. alam mo yun, so, yung Obvious talagang talaga. opposite, opposite talaga. So, ang dami, yung, ang dami ko rin natututunan sa kanya ngayon. Kaya, sobrang grateful ako na siya yung mother-in-law ko. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Mary Chris. Let's have LJ. Ayan. Um, ako siguro, I, I miss and look up very much to my lola. Actually, mm. lola lang tawag ko sa kanya, pero yaya namin siya. Yaya siya ng um, mama ko, silang magkakapatid, tapos naging yaya ko rin siya. So, kaya lola yung tawag ko sa kanya. Wow. Uh, she's in heaven now, um, but yung mga lessons na natutunan ko from her, yung mga memories with her, until now, nasa sa akin pa. So, alam niyo yung tipong pag nakikita ko si Summer, na, naalala ko siya, tapos ma-realize ko na, ay, sayang, di sila nag-abot, kasi oh. sobrang matutuwa siya, ganyan. Kasi yung lola ko na yan, since yung mom ko was an OFW, so siya yung talagang physically nagparamdam sa akin ng kung paano ba ang isang nanay. So, mm. sa kanya, medyo, siya yung nurturing part ng pagiging nanay ko. Yung parang, kasi yun, mahilig yun kumatok sa kwarto namin dati. Kahit hindi mo sinas- kahit sabi mo hindi ka gutom. Anong gusto mong kainin? <laughs> kasi sabi mo wala. Eh, anong gusto mong kainin? Yung parang sa kanya, kung natutunan yung mga maliliit na bagay na yung busog ka, yung pag-aasikaso mo nung mga gamit ng anak mo, um, kahit papel lang yan, ganyan. Parang it shows love. So, I think, a, a bunch of yung kung ano ko bilang nurturing mom is because of her. So, kahit na, wala kasi yung anak, mm. naging old maid siya because of our family. So, sobrang na-appreciate ko talaga siya. At hanggang ngayon, parang piling ko kasama pa rin namin siya. Yun. Alright. Thanks, LJ. Now, let's have Shina. Thank you. Thank you. Nikki, ano, um, he's male. He's my daddy, my papa. Yes. My papa was a really great dad, you know, in all aspects. Mm. But at the same time, looking back at his lessons, I realized how he was also a very good mom because he was able to really teach me how to empower my womanhood. It's really weird because, you know, he's kind of <laughs> parang lalaki. But the, the lessons that he, um, the way he encouraged me to believe in myself and and to know that being a woman is, kumbaga, the standards of society should be wrecked completely when it comes to being a woman. Like, I remember one time in my life when I was trying to grow up and and show people that I've grown up, you know, and those were the times when I was trying to like look at the power of my body, how to project it, and everything. And I would always feel scared that Baka he wouldn't approve, but he is actually the first one to sit me down and say there is so much power in being a woman, and you have to be very proud that you are one. So, as in talagang nagugulat ako na parang shocks. Ibang-iba siyang mag-isip. Grabe, sobra siyang ibang mag-isip. Na lalo akong, lalo akong naging confident sa sarili ko dahil naniniwala sa akin yung tatay ko. At sinasabi niya sa akin na walang ano dito. Walang, walang mas magaling dito sa male at female. Mm-hmm. So, dahil doon, lalo akong na-encourage. And he also kept on reminding me na parang, there is power in your softness, anak. Kasi, di ba, <laughs> sa mga nakakilala sa akin, wow, so. edgy. Alam mo yun, yung ayaw ko ng pink. Yung mga ganag yun. As in, as in talagang may hate relationship ako sa all things lovely and sweet and beautiful and nurturing and sa talaga yung nag- oh, so kung sa akin si China dati <laughs> all, all things girly mahal, galit siya oh, mahal ko yung kaibigan ko si LJ kahit na lagi niyang pinapakitaan ng Hello Kitty dati ah! so, yun. <laughs> and yun, yun, my, my papa was the person who kept on reminding me that there is 
there is power in your softness, in your beauty. Do not be scared to embrace that. And finally, when I did, dun, dun biglang nag-progress yung buhay ko ng mabilisan, bigla akong naging nanay. <laughs> oh my gosh! So, lagi, lagi akong grateful sa kanya pagdating dun sa bagay na yun. So, yun. Swerte mo. <laughs> Well, Huwag niyo kayo tayo ng Father's Day, ah. Joke. <laughs> thank you for all the answers. I appreciate it. Again, thank happy you. Mother's Day. Thank, you, thank you, Nikki. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Nikki. Ingat lagi. Thanks, Nikki. Love it. Next set of questions naman po will be coming from Miss Rose Garcia. 